gonna itch me where it scratches how the hell y'all doing out there folks this is the freakers ball right now live right here on friday night friday the 13th night <laughs> friday march 13 2020 so uh yeah we're live right now on reallibertybd.com right here how the hell y'all doing where the video is also posted up for you to go and see at vaughn.live slash real liberty media and the audio stream going out to all over the place, all over the world, as it tends to uh, do. Uh, so uh, welcome to all you folks on RLMRadio.xyz or RealLiberty.org or Real... What? What's that one? Minds.com. <laughs> not, not on Minds. Freedomsnetwork.com. We're not on Minds Live, but uh, it's posted up over there so people can come see us. But we are in many other audio streaming places available out there for y'all. So uh, come on over to the chat, and uh, you're, you know, I always suggest people tune into the video, but, uh, you know, it's your choice, whatever you like, really, whatever you like, I don't know, uh, but uh, come on over to the chat, regardless of uh, where you're at out there in the world. But let me say hi and howdy to all the folks over here. Moose Girl will be on shortly, don't worry. It's not just going to be me rambling on as I do on a typical night <laughs> that she's not here. She is here, and she is going to be on uh, with us live here. So uh, we say hi and howdy to the folks over here in uh, the chat room uh, this evening. The, the bots and the bodies, as Flash somebody likes to say. We got the boy man. Yes, indeed, my, my boy. Uh, we got Beetle and Cowboy Tech, myself and the Moose Girl, the lovely Miss Kate down there in Florida, undergoing quarantine. Uh, we got, <laughs> got Anti and Asmo. Jealousy, don't, I guess we're all under quarantine now. I guess that's kind of the deal, right? Oh, uh, boy. To some degree or another. Until they until they impose full-on martial law, coast to coast. And aren't we so lucky for that? Uh, we got Anti and Asmo and Chalcedonian. Duh! Hey, duh. How you doing, man? How you doing? Um, <laughs> we got Free Enslaved. Uh, the lovely free enslaved, the lovely Miss Graham Z. Grammy, Grammy. Uh, the Java Doctor J J J J J Dread Hansel is here. Hansel, you're a little early for this for your normal, typical Friday evening time. So howdy, Hansel. Uh, we got Meester Meister Mooster Bra the Woodman. We got Prince and uh, Rob Works. Mister Rob Works in the Mighty Bubla. Uh, we have Rome's in the. Uh, Rome's Rome's is really concerned about this uh, about this coronavirus stuff, man. He's uh, Rome's is a little freaked out about it. But again, that might be uh, uh, that that might be something uh, freaky, freaky, freaky for him. Um, all right. Uh, oh, there you go. Thanks for that. Uh, Hansel posted the uh, audio stream link there for free. Enslaved in the chat room. Uh, where where did I leave off at here? Uh, we got uh, the, 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 uh, Vanna White and Weather Dork, uh, my, my two Linux spots there. Python Linux spots. With the Woodman. Wait, we got Woodman and Meister Bro? And they're they're multiplying down there in the desert. Uh, we got Phantom and Bruce Dickinson and Joe Skira, the Cyborg, Noodle, uh, Dima, uh, E-Man, and Siv, the Frumsta from Canada. Hey there, uh, Free. Uh, the Frumsta, yeah, yeah, our Kanakistan friends up there. Yeah, those guys, they designed the coronavirus up there in Canada. Then they sent it over to China. <laughs> That's one of the stories that I'm hearing. Anyway, we got guest, guest, some guest. Pone sauce in smart ass, the holiest of Rajas, Zippix. Wait, we got pone sauce, but we don't have a sock puppet? Where the hell's that sock puppet? Oh, he's uh, Hansel is avoiding the crowd, so he's home early. Awesome. Well, it's better for you to uh, self, what, what do you call it? Social distance yourself and hang out here with us because you can't catch any virus at all through a computer screen unless it's a computer virus. And that's, you know, that's on you if you do that. <laughs> that's totally on you. All right, so, um, <laughs> oh, boy, so much stuff going on. Okay, this morning I get up, 
and I uh, get my do my normal things, get my coffee going and stuff like that. And I come in here and sit down. The phone rings, and it says uh, number number not available. And I answer it, and there's and there's nobody there. Nobody there. I was like, oh, what the hell? Somebody calling me that early in the morning. What's going on? And then I hung up, and then a couple minutes later, called right again, same thing. But I picked it up, and guess who was there? Guess who was on the line with me? My brother Solomon. Yes, Solomon. You all know Solomon. He's, 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 we, we all love Solomon here. Anyway, Solomon, um, I haven't quite wrapped my head totally around what he what he was explaining to me, but um, basically, uh, I mean, being as we live in a militarized state, militarized world, uh, not a police state, a militarized state, the, the police are militarized. They are part of the same machinery. Um, but uh, with this, <sighs> with this virus rolling out, yeah, and he's in South America, so. I, I don't know where. It's a big country. I mean, a big continent. So somewhere on that huge continent is my brother Solomon. Anyway, um, and he, he said, take a look. Take a look at the Georgia Guidestones and the numbers that they have up there. The numbers that they are planning on leaving, remaining alive, 500 million people. From seven billion, a little over uh, at this point, but uh, and he says, "Who do you think is going to be left alive?" And and do you think that this virus is just killing everybody, or that it's targeted to maybe get rid of certain people? Because yeah, calling it a virus is a little. Uh, it's a, it's a bit of a misnomer. It's not a virus. It's a created thing. It's a nano bot thing, an animal. Now, if you look at the pictures, and, and you've all seen those pictures of the round, fuzzy-looking thing with those big red triangle-looking deals poking on out of it there. Does that look like a, a natural virus? I don't know. And if does it does it even actually look anything like the images that we've seen them saying this is what it looks like? Uh because that looks like something that's definitely uh, programmed and I thought from the very beginning if this thing is real then it's definitely has been manufactured in a lab. Uh, they've been using CRISPR for a long time now, well, a few years. Uh I don't know if you're familiar with CRISPR or not, but uh that is this little gene editing tool that they have, and they can do pretty much any kind of designer uh, gene editing that they want. And if one of those things that they want is a virus or something that acts just like a virus uh, that self-replicates and spreads with ease, uh, what, what better thing? And if you wanted to use that, if you wanted to use that to target certain groups of people or specifically not target other specific people, you, you know, have it go with everybody except for a certain little group, you could do that. If, you, if you're not familiar with CRISPR, that C-R-I-S-P-R, -S -S there's no E at the end there, it's CRISPR, it's a gene editing thing, and uh, they could certainly design exactly this. By the way, Solomon says hi to y'all. He says hi and howdy to all of his brothers and sisters here at Real Liberty Media. He misses you all. He loves you all. And he wants to say hi to y'all. So, hi all from our buddy Solomon. <laughs> now, I don't know I don't know where else I can really go uh, with that. It's something for you to ponder, though. It's something for you to chew on. Cowboy Kex says hi back, Solomon. Uh, anyway, um, <laughs> so it's something for you to ponder. It's something... To think about, um, because obviously these various governments are telling you various things, and all they do is lie. They lie through their freaking teeth. And they lie to gain further control over you. And if that control, part of that control, means that you have to die, 
Well, that's probably to their benefit as well. Because, you know, there's just too damn many of you, and you're, and you're useless eaters. Just ask them. Uh, you're, you're useless eaters. And this, this one, uh, going after the old people, well, that takes care of a lot of problems. Because they got a, <laughs> you know, just here in the States, I don't know how it works in other countries, but uh, they probably have something similar to Social Security. But if they could kill off a large portion of the elderly folk, well, that Social Security system would just fix itself right up, wouldn't it? <laughs> yes, it would. Yes, it would. So, um, uh, yeah, it, it's interesting. Uh, I, I, I was trying to, I, you know, I haven't had my coffee yet when, when he called. And it's, I'm trying to make sense of, of what he was saying. And, you know, I think it's, um, I think they're uh, still on the uh, the previous time zone. So, uh, he he was maybe thinking it was an hour later here than it was. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I, I love hearing from him when he calls, which is not that often. I know I should call him at some point. I think I have his number here. I, I'm pretty sure I wrote it down somewhere. Um, so, uh, it, yeah. So uh, that, that, I, sh I should give him a call at some point in time. I don't know. Um, <laughs> that's a good one there rob works rob works posted a meme there in the chat it says that uh, walmart still has toilet paper on sale and it's got a picture of uh, uh some hillary book for 98 cents <laughs> all right all right I, 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 oh there she is there she is there she is now let's answer and see who's on the other end of this line it says Connecting and it says, "Hola, hola, Miss Moose. How are you doing? Doing good. That's good. That's hanging good. in there anyway. Yeah. Did you hear all the stuff I was talking about? Yeah, I did. All right. So say hi to Solomon. Yes. Hello, Solomon. How are you doing? <laughs> uh, so you sound better than you did last week. Uh yeah, I have." improved that a little bit well that's good that's good your so, your stuff's fitting still, better your stuff your no thing. a little bit but still not not there all the way yet all right all right cool so working on it <laughs> yeah but i feel okay so that that's the main thing that's a good thing yeah yeah and you're and yeah you're, and you're back to work until they make everybody not go to work anymore not be at work right yeah <laughs> oh there is that. <laughs> there is that. Oh, boy. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I tell you. Crazy-ass world we're in. Yeah. Uh, right. So Jackson has this thing about toilet paper. Oh, boy. And That's... if you leave it in the certain spot where he can get it, he'll take it. Yeah. And he'll chew it up. I got to tell so him. So I about... come home. I was just out a little for a little bit, and I come home. He's got to roll it like it's a whole roll. Uh-huh. I saw that paper. Yeah. I'm like, fuck no. <laughs> so I, I go to Matt. I go, Matt, he's got the whole photo of toilet paper. He's like, yeah. I'm like, if that's like currency right now. Yeah, baby. That's, that's he's a... like eating money. I mean, not that it was free, but because I had to pay to buy, you know, well, to obvious, get it. Obviously, but, obviously. But still, it's like, dude, you know. <laughs> That's just like finding him chewing up a twenty dollar bill or something. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, come yeah. on. <laughs> well, like, I, I don't get it. Like, what is the deal with the toilet paper? Like, def definitely keep that stuff somewhere that he is is not able to get to it. Right. Yeah. It's like, oh my god. Yeah. I was only gone twenty minutes. <laughs> Seriously, I'm like, what the hell, dude? And the the, the dog probably has cuts in his mouth because he found some CD that was laying like a. Uh, a CD for some thing, you know. Yeah, yeah. Not a music CD, but he chewed that up. Yeah. That's like glass, dude. <sighs> anyway. Crazy dog. Anyway, yeah, um, let, let me just say this about the mm -hmm. uh, rare items at this point in time. The toilet paper. Okay. The, the, uh -huh. Whatever. Um, toilet paper seeds, twelve ninety nine. Lovely. But, <laughs> yeah, I saw that. That Sorry. was really funny. <laughs> um, if you have enough to last a couple weeks. Right. Just wait. Because in a couple yeah. weeks, they'll replenish. There'll be plenty more. 
if, sure. If you, if you rush out and buy it during this time of crazy panic, exactly. uh, then you're, then you're going to wind up in, in paying outrageous prices and, um, and, and you're not going to find it. So right. just, just, just get, you know, if you got enough to go for a while, then hang on, just wait. You're okay. Yeah. 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 Relax. So, so good. don't let the, don't let the madness of the government, uh, and the, and the panic causers to get into your brain. You're smarter yeah. than that. You know better. You're prep. You're all preppers here. Everybody here has been a prepper for a long time. So y'all know better and you know, you know how these things work. Uh, and, and e- even if this thing goes on, it'll get to a point where it's saturated and the, and the, and the stocks, yep. the stocks are replenished. The, the companies are still making this stuff, assuming that they're allowed people to go to work. Um, <laughs> but, you know. That's the thing, though. It could run out if they're uh, if they're not producing it anymore. Yeah, but but come on now. Oh, where did I go? I fell off of IRC. Huh? Uh-huh. You did? Off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, I, you may still see me in there, but I'm looking at disconnected here oh. on my end. So. What the hell? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> ah, it's Weird. Happens. It happens. Ping time out or whatever. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, let's see here. Trying to reconnect to... Whatever. There we, go. there we go. Okay, looking at post name. Da, da, da. All right, terrific. I'll be back there in a second. Uh, let's. Uh, I was about to play some music when you called in. Okay. So let's get to that. All right. And uh, I'll be back in the channel as normal. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay. This is a. Uh, well, you'll see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I'm back. Okay. Here we go. Ah, yeah, yeah, indeed. Some nice stuff right there, let me tell you. As Joe Bonamassa covering Jimi Hendrix, are you experienced? That's off of the uh, Tour de Force borderline. Uh, before that, a Miss Kate request there, Stevie Ray Vaughan. Superstitious. Superstition. <laughs> And we kicked it off with the Ramones covering the Who's Substitute. Ah, oh, man, I love the Ramones. Uh, some great stuff there. Okay. Um, okay, let me all ask you a little special favor here, a little special favor. You got any of that uh, juice, healing, energy juice left in you, up in you? I want you to send some. I want you to send some towards Chloe's mother. Chloe's mother had a heart attack today. And uh, she's in the hospital at the moment, but uh, she's apparently doing okay and resting well. But she's in a fucking hospital, and hospitals are disease holes. So send your send your good stuff, your good energy, towards Chloe's mother. And uh, yeah, yeah, I hope she does well too, Cowboy Tech. So uh, yeah, anyway, there's that. Moose girl, you with me? Are you with me, Miss Moose? Hello, hello, yes. hello. Yes, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. I just got to change the thing. You there? I'm here. I'm still here. Hang on. Yeah. Hello? Okay, yeah, here I am. Yeah, I'm still here. I haven't gone All right, anywhere. there we go. All right. Okay. So, anyway. So. Um. Uh, <sighs> I tried to do cap. There we go. It's good. This is crazy. I've never seen anything like this in my whole life. Absolutely um, not. Yeah. So it's kind of bizarre. Yes. Friday the thirteenth. Oh yeah, it's Friday the thirteenth today. <laughs> yes, it is that too. <laughs> <laughs> Almost forgot. Oh, anyway, um, I really don't have much to say about it. I, well, I got tons, but... Uh, they got they closed the schools here today. Uh, the governor closed all K-12 schools here today. But university, universities have all extended their spring break, and then after the spring break, they're going to online only for a while. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, all crazy, this man. It's all massive, massive insanity. Um, yeah, uh, they're declare, declaring the National Prayer Day. 
Uh, Prayer day? Yeah. Okay. So your prayers, the headline is... Well, who are you, who are you praying for? Um, uh, are you yourself? I, I mean, everybody's equally... Uh, I guess. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Thanks for being enslaved for Mother of Chloe there. And, uh, yeah. And, and Cowboy Tech and whoever else sending those, sending those vibes to Chloe's mother. Did you hear that part? Yes, I did. Okay. Yep. okay. Yeah, you know, it's tough. It's when, when, uh, when yeah, right. the last place you want to be is a hospital yeah, right now. Yeah, man. It's, it's, that's it's, not a good that's deal. Crazy Hopefully to be she in there. It's crazy to be in there. Feels better soon and can get out as soon as possible. All right. Have you ever heard of uh, a woman by the name of Sylvia Brown? Yes. Okay. Psychic. Yeah, she was a psychic. She died some couple few years yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. Here's this article. I Here's saw it. the story earlier okay. this week. News from the perimeter dot com. Psychic Sylvia Brown predicted coronavirus in yep. two thousand eight. She did well, according to that. I mean. Well, according to her book, it, uh, you know, fr- from the book titled "End of Days: Predict- Predictions and Prophecies About the End of the World." Hello? Yeah, see you there. Why can I not hear him all of a sudden? Did you press your mute button? The fuck? Check your mute button. <laughs> really? <laughs> I muted? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Did you? Are you? Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. Sorry okay. about that. All right. Yeah, be careful that thing. Jeez. All right. So from, from the book titled End of Days, Predictions and Prophecies About the End of the World, written in 2008 by the now deceased self-described psychic Sylvia Brown, and in and in whose predictions made twelve years ago saw Brown eerily writing the words in around twenty twenty, a severe pneumonia like illness will spread throughout the globe, attacking the lungs and the bronchial tubes and resisting all known treatments. Almost more baffling that the illness itself uh, will be the fact that it will suddenly vanish as quickly as it arrived attack again ten years later, and then disappear completely. So those are um, quite the uh, interesting words, eh? Uh, I, I, <laughs> uh, you know, lot, there's lots of psychics out there predicting lots of things. So yeah, uh, some of them are going to be right, some of them are not. Uh, but, but it's still kind of uh, eerie, a little bit eerie. It is. Yeah, yeah, so... Um, wow! There you go, Sylvia Brown and her. Uh, I, I I used to listen to her, you know, on Coast to Coast. She'd come on Coast to Coast regularly, and uh, she was okay. I mean, she wasn't uh, she wasn't too bad, and some of her stuff was all, all right. And and she did make you know quite a few uh, predictions that never came to pass. Right, which you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you yeah. know, she was she was making her living as that, so. She had to keep. She was. She, so she had to keep coming up with predictions, and right. So uh, some of them, you know, maybe they were. She she really foresaw these things, and the uh, other ones, you never know. You never know. No, you don't. So, they canceled the Masters now, golf tournament. Yeah, I heard that. Uh, earlier today, Cowboy Tech over there on the uh, on the Facebook posted a, a link. From humansarefree.com. dot com, mm-hmm. and there's a, a video that you can go and watch if you want. Uh, it's it's in Chinese, so there's really no benefit for us. But um, <laughs> it says, "Watch Wuhan residents shouting, it's all fake from their from their apartment windows during official visit." Oh so, wow! <laughs> a, a top Chinese official has been heckled by residents as she inspected the network. Or I mean the 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 work of a neighborhood committee uh, tasked with taking care of residents quarantined because of coronavirus. Vice Premier Sun Chun Lan uh, toured the residential community in the Qingshan district of Wuhan on Thursday yesterday, while residents shouted "fake, fake" as well as "it's all fake" and "we protest." Wow. 
from their apartment windows. Wow. Since the 12th of February, all resident compounds in Wuhan have been put under lockdown, barring, wow. mo- barring most residents from leaving their homes. Um, and then they got a whole bunch of uh, comments there um, here uh, from, from, from the uh, YouTube where the, where the video is posted. Uh, yeah. Um, person saying, the governments of the world are the real terrorists, period. Yeah. Correct? Um, the, the world and every single life matters, including the animal kingdom. Our habitat is being in danger because it is also grieving. And so, I don't know what this person is talking about, um, but people talk stuff on, on, on the YouTube comments. Uh, the next, yep. per, next person says, coronavirus, man-made to quarantine to control the masses, subject yep. to... Uh, my take is uprising of martial <laughs> martial law, but he smelled it spelled it like Marshall Dillon, of course. Um. <laughs> oh God, I hate when people fucking do that. Yeah. Revolt I coming! I hate that when they screw that one up. Oh God! Revolt coming! Revolt! Revolt coming soon! The people are finally waking up to deception. Uh, yeah, I don't know if okay. they are. I don't. I don't know if they are. I don't think they are. Um, I, I don't think there, they there are. are. There are a small number. Of us that are, um, and Free and Slave points out quite correctly that as they are pummeled by 5G and smog so thick you can cut it, uh, right? The, the, their kids there smelt batteries in the streets. So uh, yeah. Anyway, there's a whole bunch more comments you could read there uh, on that link that I just posted there in the chat. But uh, so th- these are some of the. Uh, I don't know what you want to say about them. Um, oh, here, let me give you, you know, I'll give you a link to the to the to the Chinese video. Should should anybody want it? Yeah. Um, be, it, it's it comes from the Guardian. It's not just like some guy right. out, some guy out there with his cell phone uh, re- recording this, or it may have been somebody recording it that way. But uh, they um, posted it on the Guardian, so they apparently right. Even though the Guardian's fake news too, but you know whatever. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta pick and choose. You can't, you yeah. know. Yeah, you know, because sometimes uh, real stuff does leak out from them idiots. Right. True. Um, yep. Okay. Uh, another one. I, I got every everything. It's, it's all Corona all the fucking time. Yeah, um, I mean that's what it, all it's it, been. It, I mean it, it's, it's constantly it's, changing. It's, like this lady at work though. I was talking to my boss today, and she's like. Oh, well, don't believe everything you read on the Internet. It's like, no shit, dude. But I'm looking at the local news station. It's not like I'm looking at some weird site that's, you know. Right. I'm looking at mainstream sites. It's not like I'm digging deep for this shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, just to make sure you tell her don't believe anything you hear on the TV. Right. No kidding. <laughs> right. Jesus so, Christ. So if you were planning on driving to, uh, say, um, the cities. Yeah. You may be you may you may not be able to do that much longer. I might not be able to. Might yeah. not, not be able to cross at Hudson. Right. Uh as as corona, Or any any border, any bridge that goes from Wisconsin to Minnesota. Uh, from any state to any state. Um as as, yeah. the, as as this article from Market Watch, as coronavirus spreads, C D C warns Americans about traveling within the, the United States. Right. So uh, it says if COVID nineteen is spreading in your des- at your destination, but not where you live, you may be at higher risk of exposure if you travel there. So right, yeah, it says uh, with the number of confirmed cases of COVID nineteen continuing to grow, public health officials officials have issued a warning to the people thinking about traveling within the United States. The right, C- the CDC posted a new guide Wednesday answering common questions about the risks of the novel coronavirus pandemic poses to Americans traveling domestically. Uh, CDC does not generally issue advisories or restrictions for travel within the U.S., the agency said on its website. However, cases of COVID-19 have been reported in many states, well, almost all of them now, and uh, some areas are experiencing community spread of the disease. Right now, today, um, <laughs> the Trumpster went on on the TV there and uh, told that he is uh, he he put into place an emergency declaration. What is it called? 
some kind of emergency thing. Emergency. Uh, say emergency. Uh, emergency declaration, basically. Um, okay. And and, uh, and and so I went to to try and find exactly what that meant because, I mean, what what, what is it? What's that? What's that all about? Um, you know, because um, what, what what does that do to you or me or anybody else? And it's really hard to find that information uh, as to exactly what new powers that gives mostly it, right. de- it deals with money and getting money to uh, states and localities that need money to deal with whatever the emergency is right but one of the other things that's hidden in there is that it gives what they call regulatory agencies power to impose things on people and these yeah. re- these regulatory agencies include the CDC, as well as FEMA, as as well as the Department of Homeland Security, as well as uh, the uh, DEA, the FDA, all, all of those. Those are regulatory agencies that somehow they are allowed to create regulations uh, without without passing any laws whatsoever. They just say, this is a new regulation, and we're shoving it out there, and you have to obey it, or we'll send guys after gu- with guns after you yep. to do bad things to you. Um, yep. So this little emergency declaration that he put out there, um, <laughs> it's not good. It's not. No, it's, oh, my God. I, I mean, it's crazy. I, I'm sure it's great. I can't. You know, it's great for all, all the it's great for all the people that are trying to get money, like your states. Uh, yep. Yeah, you, know, you know, your states want that money; they want a chunk of that right. money. Uh, so they're they're gonna go right along. With I can't it. help but thinking this is something. There's something da- up down the pipe. There's just something coming with this. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they're finally gonna like there's gonna be some alien landing or something. <laughs> You know, something like that. I just, you know what I mean? Maybe I watch too many movies. <laughs> you would be more apt to think that than me, I would think, Grim. <laughs> I do think that, but I always think okay. But I always think yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just think there's something more to this. You know, but, there's a reason why they're putting all these uh, restrictions and all this shit in place. Oh, sure. Absolutely. There's something coming. There's something coming. It's part of a much bigger plan. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It always has been, but they're really it's really uh coming to a head now. Well we've been doing this show for eleven years. We've been talking about this shit for eleven fucking years. Yeah. I mean, come on. This is we've seen this coming, all of us. But it's not all bad news. No, not necessarily. <laughs> this article from PCMag dot com. <laughs> if you're an Italian, if you live in Italy Okay, and this may go further, who knows, but since Italy is like one of the hardest hit places out there, Pornhub is giving Italians free premium access yeah, during, saw that. during coronavirus quarantine. How nice of them. That's so really awesome, you guys. You're, you're sitting at home, bored. How compassionate. You're sitting, at, <laughs> sitting at home, bored. You might as well whack off. Um, as, as Italy closes down non-essential businesses, Pornhub will allow Italian users to access premium content without having to put put in their credit card information. Now, I, awesome. I don't I don't know what premium content includes on Pornhub. Um, I don't I don't, don't know what, I don't know what I don't, I've never been to Pornhub. I never trust <laughs> I never trusted it. I never I never trusted it. It, it just seems me like, either. I've never been there. It seems never like will a, be. It, it, it seems like a huge honeypot. I like porn. It is. I, I I enjoy porn, but I'm not going to go watch it on on a place like that that I just I just don't trust them uh, for any reason. And, no. And so, <laughs> anyways, so uh, if you're stuck at home during the global pandemic, but you're kind of old fashioned, Grim. What do you do? Pick up a book, catch up on a plethora of streaming TV shows. <laughs> plethora. That's what I said, didn't I? Plethora. You said plethora. Oh, whatever. Uh, dial in, <laughs> dial in to your umpteenth, umpteenth video conference call of the day. Pornhub is hoping. Right. Ita- well, you know, uh, click on our website and have a quick 
session. Yeah, Pornhub is hoping Italians have a little something different in mind. Right. With, with Italy on lockdown to, to, uh, to slow the spread of coronavirus, Pornhub is offering its premium whacking service. I mean, a premium uh, video, <laughs> video service for free to those in Italy during the month of March. Uh, <laughs> no credit oh, card, just God. click and view. Uh, meanwhile, a portion, oh my of, God. a portion of the proceeds from Model Hub, Pornhub's creator hub, will be donated to local hospitals. So, hooray for Pornhub! Um, Yay! <laughs> so, uh, break out your whatever it is and get get to work. <laughs> get to work. Yeah. Uh, get to work at it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! It's funny. Uh, there, there it is. Funny. It is funny. Pretty funny. <laughs> I like it. Oh man! I tell you, this is just uh, boy. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! There's this site. Somebody, uh, I forget who linked it in the chat. Somebody linked it in the chat yesterday. I think. Everyone is freaking out, though. I can tell you that much. Yeah. Oh, Everyone yeah. is freaking out. Well. The yeah. Children's Museum is closing now. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I, I I forget who linked it in the chat, but it's a site called isitcanceledyet.com. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Um, that popped up quick. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yes means uh, it was updated today. So it's a yes means in-person gathering canceled. No means it's still on. Uh-oh means not canceled but not looking good. Okay. So, um, is it canceled yet? Uh, 2020. Uh-oh. <laughs> so, Disneyland, yes. Uh, WWDC, what is that? I don't know. Oh, whatever, that's canceled. Democratic Party, uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Boston Marathon, uh-oh. Yeah, that's canceled. Uh, well, not, it's rescheduled. Well, it says, the Masters is canceled. The Masters Golf Tournament has been canceled. Okay, but Ma Ma Boston Marathon is in an uh-oh state, which means it's not looking Oh, good. okay. Microsoft Build, which is like a conference, it's canceled. Broadway, the show must canceled. not, must not go on. So it's not going on right now. March Madness Well, there is a show going on, just not a Broadway show. March Madness is canceled. Yep, uh, that's a S huge, huge moneymaker there. The SATs, uh-oh. Uh, canceled. Well, I bet you that'll be canceled. All the colleges are canceling. Yeah, yeah. NBA season canceled. NHL season canceled. MLB season canceled. Uh, bull market. Yes, the bull market was really canceled this week. We'll get to See, that. This later. has never happened before in my we'll, whole life. We'll, we'll get to the bull market in a little while. Seriously. Uh, E3, which is I think an electronics show of some type. I'm not, I'm not positive. Canceled. Uh, public gatherings. Yes, New York City, LA, and many more. Um, basically all the big music tours. Uh-oh. Uh, Houston Rodeo canceled. Las Vegas Casino Buffets canceled. Pope Francis Public Appearances canceled. Bernie and Biden rallies canceled. Google I.O., I don't know what that is, it's canceled. South by Southwest, huge one there, canceled. Yep. Minecraft, Minecraft Festival canceled. That's like a Minecraft thing. Yeah, don't you just thing. play that at your computer? Yep. That's canceled, though. Okay, Burning Man, not canceled. Not yet. <laughs> yeah. uh, New York Public... Oh, that, that, that one in Tahoe I was going to go to, that bluegrass one? Yeah. Winter Wonderland? Yeah. Grass? That's yeah. rescheduled until next year. Okay. Well, yeah. so that, I mean, that, that would be the next show. Well, all right. Good thing I didn't fucking get right. a plane ticket and all that for that, you know. New York Pro Public Library events canceled, whatever those are. Coachella canceled. Harvard University canceled. 2020 Olympics. No. Not canceled. What? That uh, will be. Uh, well, those Japanese people are stubborn, man. They they do not want that to. That will be fucking canceled. The, the, week, the, the, week, the weekend is canceled, Kate says. Um, Darn. <laughs> life is, no, life is canceled, people. All right. <laughs> um, Ted, Ted. Life as you know it has canceled. Ted Conference delayed. Uh, GDC, whatever that is, canceled. Google Reader, isn't that a thing? You, I, I don't know what that is. They said it's canceled. Whatever it is, PAX West. I don't know what that is. Not canceled. I don't either. PAX West is still on apparently. Uh, Chris Matthews, yes, canceled. <laughs> oh yeah, he, yeah. 
He yeah. reti- he left. Yeah. Seattle Comic Con canceled. San Diego Comic Con not canceled. Okay. Um, Microsoft Ignite, whatever that is. Uh oh. Free samples at Costco canceled. No more free samples. No, you, it does everywhere. You moochers. <laughs> but you no, can... it's, they they don't do, they don't they used to hand out free samples all the time. Yeah, they don't do that they, now. yeah well, they aren't now. That's for sure. Um, anyway, there's all kinds of stuff on here. Uh, that you can look at and and see uh, all hugs canceled, um, handshakes canceled, fist bumps. You can you're okay with fist bumps, I guess. Although I read something where no, I wouldn't do a fist bump. I read I read I read where I read where fist bumps are not okay. I would not touch people. No. Lauren's ninety second birthday party. Who the hell that? Uh, Fucking cares. I'm just kidding. kidding. Whatever. His, his Lauren. I don't know, but his birthday or his or her birthday party is canceled. No, it's him. It says yes, but okay. we still yeah, love him. Okay. All right, maybe, maybe it's I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, all kinds of shit that's canceled, and some few things that's not canceled. <laughs> wow. All right, uh, Cow- Cow- Cowboy Tech has a has a has a meme for me here. Boss, what's the what's the all the moonshine? What moonshine? That's hand sanitizer. <laughs> I wonder if the gun show is going to be canceled tomorrow. Right, nice one. Uh, oh, um, well, how many, There's oh, a gun show going on in Eau Claire tomorrow. It should be a smaller. It's than, there tonight. It shouldn't be that big of an event, though, right? So. No, well, I don't know. Yeah, Houston Rodeo is canceled. That was a big deal earlier this week. Wow. All right, well, I got plenty more Corona crap to cover later on, but I'm going to play some more music right now. All right, let's do that. Now, I mean, this this first. You know what we're talking about tonight, I guess. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I, I mean, there, there, I have some other stories, and I'll get to those too. Ah, Ho- uh, we hopefully. don't have to. Yeah, hopefully. You know. Well, some of them, you know, it's it's good to mix in a little other stuff there. Yeah, true. Okay. Uh, th- this first video clip I'm going to play. Uh, you'll all recognize the song, but you may not recognize the video. I think maybe, maybe it does tell you because it is the opening p- portion. Right. Uh, the opening credits. Of, yes. of the film. And this is how I feel, too. I mean, well, I don't know if we're talking about the same thing. I think Probably not. Probably not. Oh, probably not. Okay, never mind. Then. So, um... Oh, no, we're not. Okay. Instead of more cowbell, how about we get some more corona? All right. Uh, if, you, if you never read the book, read it. If you never saw the film, eh, it's not a film. It's like a short series, mini-series or something. Uh, if you could find it, yeah, yeah, watch it. Why not? Uh, reading the book is, is quite a chore. It's over a thousand pages, <laughs> but awesome, awesome book. I tell you. Anyway, here it is. Uh, enjoy. Phase plasma rifle in the forty watt range. <laughs> so, I figured that y'all were talking about guns there in the chat. I'd play that little thing. You know, it helps you to select a the gun. There. <laughs> Already, already picking out his guns as a Terminator. <laughs> yes, indeed. I want me a phase plasma rifle in the 40 watt range. Uh, anyway, before that was a, uh, a free and slave request there. Uh, REM, it's the end of the world, as we know it. Uh, before that, a Hansel request, or Almstein, uh, uh, doing America. And uh, we kicked it off there with uh, the opening to The Stand, the opening scene from the t- TV miniseries The Stand. Um uh, uh, with Blue Oyster Cult, Don't Fear the Reaper, uh, playing. Now, if if you've never read the book or you're, or seen the seen this the, the TV show, um, let me just tell you exactly what you saw there. In that, there's a bunch of people. Okay. There's a bunch of people that worked in a bio lab. Right. And they're all dead. They're dead. They're all dead. Yep. From something that got out. Right. And then you that see, or whatever. and then you see at the end of that scene, one car driving away, right, from somebody from that lab, right, that was infected, <laughs> right. Sound familiar? Uh, <laughs> that somehow uh, that that uh, you know, uh, obviously it didn't happen exactly like that over there in China. But it may not have been that different than what we saw in the stand. If you've never read the stand, 
I recommend it. Read it. it. I, at this point in time, absolutely get that book. Yeah, that's good. Or maybe you can find it somewhere online to watch if you want to watch it. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, quite, the, quite the deal. Quite the deal. Um, yeah, it's uh, like I said, I was at the bar the other night, which was the first time I had been there for like three weeks or something. Because of my teeth thing, you know. Yeah, yeah. And I just went in there for a little bit, but um, we were watching the news, and that's when they or the best there was a basketball game on. Yeah. And all of a sudden it was canceled, and I'm like, "This is great." We were just you can't help but talk about it. Like even some people that came into the barn and sitting behind me, right. like a big group of people came in, they were all talking about it. One right. lady said, "Oh well, there's a one percent death rate." Well, that was at that point. That was uh four days ago. Yeah. You know, but everyone's talking about it, obviously. I mean, it's 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 so weird. Like, I was driving around earlier before the show, and it's just, it feels eerie. It's like, and when, even coming home from work when I'm driving, it's like, we're driving around in the midst of this virus going on, this the midst of this thing that's happening. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. this thing. Like, you can't even, like, describe it. It's like a thing. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know, yeah. like you were talking earlier, it's a man. Like I believe from the beginning, it's a manufactured fucking thing. Absolutely. You know, it's bioengineered, man-made, programmable. Like you said, you know what I mean? Exactly. And uh, it's so eerie. It, it does feel like the Twilight Zone to me a little bit. Sure. It's kind of feeling like that a little bit, and like movies like The Sand or movies like. Any other apocalyptic type movie or even apocalyptic type show, I'm like, this is kind of like The Walking Dead almost. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Where everything goes in the lockdown, the military gets involved, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Sure. It's just like, has been the, the subject. Excuse me. I still have my temp dentures, so. Sorry. Right. Talking's not perfect yet, but anyway, <laughs> um, it, it's it's like that. It feels like that. You know, I'm, does it to you, Grim, a little bit? Like, After, oh, no, no question about it. Yeah. Okay. No question about it. No question. It's a uh, right. It's not a movie. <laughs> it yeah. is not a movie. Correct. It's it's it's, it's uh, uh, frumpy. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's life imitating art. It, right, and like Matt, my son Matt, and even Zach, Matt's like, oh, it's not a big deal, but he's 19. Like he's not. Yeah, he's fine. You yeah, know no what I mean? He's well, He's all like, this is all, this is too much hype. This is all hype. But he isn't like me, like, and you that are, like, watching this unfold online. And, like, he, he's playing his video games. He's, like, oblivious. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. And so I'm like, he'll be oblivious until, but he would he would probably like it to be his work for, to be shut down. <laughs> you know? He well, would probably like that. Yeah, he wouldn't get oh, cool, paid. Oh, cool, play but... video games. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, but he wouldn't get paid. You know? so he wouldn't get paid. So. Right, he won't get paid, buddy. Yeah. You know. So anyway, um if if I get the coronavirus, mm -hmm. if I I would have contracted it last night. Like what you said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what the day uh, yesterday afternoon, I guess basically it was still uh anyway, I went to, to the local grocery store up here, which is normally right. got like, you know, two or three people in it at once. Is that, yeah, right? And there, there was people, I mean, there was a lot of people in It was in packed. There. Well, not packed. not packed, but there was a lot for of... Moriarty. Yeah, for Moriarty. Yeah, for Moriarty was packed. Okay, you know. And so what I'm thinking is a lot of these people were probably out-of-towners because... Right. Because their stores, wherever they live, in the Albuquerque or wherever... Were they, sold out. Yeah, they sold out, so they came out came out to yep. Moriarty. So uh, as people... <laughs> I was like, get the hell out of my Searching town. Out. Searching high and low for TP. Get out of my town. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I did my best. Get out of my lawn. Get out of my house. I, I, I did my I did my best to stay away from you know as far away from everybody that I could. But I don't know, you got to pass people in the aisles and stuff. Right, and, right, right. And they're I breathing. Know. You got to touch things that other people touched. They're freaking breathing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. My kids think I was a crazy person with the germaphobe thing, but I'm not, dude. It's yeah. I call it common sense, dude. Yeah. I've been carrying hand sanitizer around in my car. I mean, this is not new to me. Right. The protocol really hasn't changed much for me. That's what I'm saying. I still I have the hand sanitizer in my car. I have it right here at my desk. I have it at my desk at work. But the work has a big jug of it right there. Right. You know what I mean? And 
you know, I wash my hands good. I've always been washing my hands good. I was in healthcare, a little bit of kind of a healthcare field for a while and working in group homes and everything. And you have to go through training. And in training, they teach you how to wash your hands properly, like a hospital, like if you worked at a hospital. It's right? really you know? not that hard. It is not. And then I've been <laughs> taking the vitamin C every day. Like yeah. I've been taking, I've been trying to take 4,000 milligrams a day. Um, and then I did get rid of the bad, my, the, the the disease that I had going on in my body. Yeah. By getting my teeth pulled. So, um, Oh, let me, and mention, that's, let me, let me mention go ahead. just a sidebar here. Uh, I yeah, noticed, sure. I noticed that Frumpy said he was going to watch that tonight. Um, it's about six hours, Frumpy. Um, uh, yeah, it's a long, it's a series. It's like, a. Well, it's, it's, it was uh, a te- it, was it was a series, so it's not like a movie. It you was know? like three or four episodes that were yeah. each an hour and a half or something. They, yeah, they break it up a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Yes, Hansel, you warned me that the, the zombies would attack out here, <laughs> invade out here. <laughs> oh, God. Wow. So, so they're, they're, wow. they're I, I, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know what how. I mean, I feel good because I am mentally ready for this because we've been talking about this for 11 years. I've known this is probably going to happen for a while. Yeah. Um, this, it's not really a surprising me. I'm not freaking out really yet, you know, or freaking yeah. out at all. All I know, you know, I've been doing this stuff for a long time. I have a lot of shit here. We have tools here. We have, you know, it's not like the end of the world right now. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, yeah. it's just not for me. I mean. So free and slave post a video and a comment here in the chat. Video is a supply chain crisis. And he says supply. Right. Uh, Supply chains, alert, alert, alert. Ports around the world are empty. No containers. People are being laid off. Truckers freaking out. <laughs> all right. Trucking companies are freaking out, probably. Oh, no, no doubt. Well, all kinds of companies are freaking out because. Yeah, all can, kinds. Can, can of you companies. imagine being an airline company right now? You're flying empty airplanes Both around. Airplanes, right? Yeah. And then, like, my boss is worried because of the stock market and the the people's retirement funds. You know. Oh yeah, people. Their four hundred one ks and they're you know. It's vanishing. People Vanish- are counting on that. You know, I mean, well, people are counting on that stuff. For whatever reason, uh, opposite of logic, uh, silver and gold have been pummeled, and and they should right. have been, they should have been going through the roof. Right. No Con- doubt. Uh, considering the the rest of the economy, those right. are those are supposed to be your safe haven things. So yes. that that's freaking me out because that's right. my, that's my money right there. Exactly. Uh, and and when it when it I drops, mean, yeah. I'm gonna go get some cash out tomorrow. Yeah, you know, I, see, I'm surprised. I swear, because I, uh, if I were people, I would get, I mean, they say stay away from cash because it's dirty, which it is. Yeah. But we've been knowing that for a long time. Right. I, I, I'm cash, a, if, if the bank's closed and shit, yeah. whatever, and your shit's online, good luck. Yeah, I'm really surprised. I, mean, I, haven't, come on. I haven't heard of any bank runs yet, but. No, but there's going to be. I guarantee uh, fucking to you. You'd have to imagine. There's going to be or, because or, people or are, if, are freaking out. People are freaking out. If if there are bank runs, they're suppressing it. Right. Yeah. Oh, big time. Yeah, so. Uh, they don't want you to know. They don't want to go there yet. Yeah, they don't want all the money to They're trying to suppress all this shit. Yeah. Whatever, you know what I mean? So they, they this is why it's constantly changing because they, they leak out little by little, little by little by little. Well, yeah. we're doing this now. Oh, now we're doing this. Oh, now we're doing this. Now we're, you know what I mean? Right. They keep like, it's like that, that theory of the, like Graham Blitz brings up all the time, the frog in the hot water. Sure. You keep raising up the temp slowly. You raise the temp slowly up. Yeah. The, the, they don't know what's going on as much, right? Yeah. And they just become complacent and then they fucking die. Right? They, they turn it up so high that right, you can't fucking right, survive. Right. The front, yeah. So, that, and we've been talking about this for 11 years, Grimmier. You realize that, right? I know. Well, I know you know that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but I we have been talking about this same scenario here for 11 years. Right. Well, it was. It was so, it was, I'm mentally ready. We're, me and you, and we're preaching the choir, basically, basically you know? Yeah. All right, so anyway, today, great news, right? <laughs> the Jerusalem, J, jpost.com, the Jerusalem Post. Israeli scientists say, in a few weeks, we ha- will have a coronavirus vaccine. 
Oh, yeah, right. Like, All I'm right. going to trust that. All I'm right. not going to be signing up for that. No fucking yeah. way. Once the vaccine is developed, it will take at least 90 days to complete the regulatory process and potentially more to enter the marketplace. So uh, even if they had it in a few weeks, which would be the end of March, or the beginning of, of April, um, uh, then it would be at least until, like, July uh, before that came out. Right. Uh, but I, I saw something else where it was like, Anyway, uh, Israeli scientists are on the cusp of developing the first vaccine against novel coronavirus, which is a lie. According to Science and Technology Minister, uh, if all goes as planned, the vaccine could be ready within a few weeks and available in 90 days. Congratulations to Mygal, the Gailey Galilee Research Institute, on this exciting breakthrough, Akuna said, I am confident that there will be further rapid progress enabling us to provide a needed response to the grave global COVID-19. <laughs> COVID-19. Uh, uh, threat. <laughs> For the past four years, a team of scientists have been developing a vaccine against infectious bronchitis virus, IBV which causes bronchial disease affecting poultry. The effectiveness of this vaccine has been proven in preclinical trials. Okay, but that's not for COVID-19. Um, <coughs> our, our basic concept is develop a technology uh, and not specifically a vaccine for this kind of virus or that kind of virus. Mm -hmm. um, so they, they think, oh, this will be like a universal virus. Uh, a va vaccine. Universal vaccine. Um, yeah, no. Um, anyway, so they think they're the first. They think they're the best. They're those Israelis that always just jump it on top of everything. However, on DefenseOne.com, we've got the vaccine, says Pentagon-funded company. <laughs> Yeah, right. Yeah. Pentagon funded. <laughs> Pentagon funded. And get this. Let that sink in. Let that sink in. And, and, and Pentagon get, and, funded. And, and get this. It's a Canadian company. <laughs> Ooh, imagine that. So the Pentagon is funding a Canadian company. Yes. So Which the, is under control of Well, that is where I where the Queen of England. Well no but but the Canadian in Canada is apparently where the virus originated and was shipped. Yes. And it was we shipped. did a story on that three freakers balls ago. I had to remind people in the chat that uh, that's where it originated. And then it was in shipped Canada, to China. And then it was stolen by the Chinese scientist lady. It wasn't stolen. It was shipped over there. They, okay. They, they were, over they, there. They were working See? together. So I wasn't wrong because but, but no. we talked about that three weeks ago on Freakers Ball. Right. <laughs> and people conveniently forgot that. Oh, no, it started in the Chinese wet market in Wuhan. No, it did not. Okay, well, here's the deal. No, well, it did not. C okay, Canadian, Canadian firm says it could make 10 million doses a month if its innovative production method... 10 million doses a month? If, what? If its innovation production method wins FDA approval... Well, well <laughs> it's Pentagon funded. Who does the FDA <laughs> fucking work for? Uh, big, pharma. Christ, big Pharma. Big uh, Pharma. Anyway... Uh, so the company says it has produced a COVID-19 vaccine just 20 days after receiving the coronavirus genetic sequence using a unique technology that they soon hope to submit to the FDA for approval. Metacago CEO Bruce Clark said his company could produce as many as 10 million doses a month if regulatory hurdles can be cleared. He said in a Thursday interview, oh my God. the vaccine could start to become available in November 2021. <laughs> so they've got it. Yeah, of course they, they do. They, they say they've got it, but not available for a year and a half. <laughs> Over a year and a half. <laughs> so, so you'll all be dead by then. Don't worry. <laughs> you won't have to right. worry. You'll be fucking yeah. We'll be yeah. You know, a lot of people. You, you so, not all of us. You won't have to worry about the about the mandatory vaccine because you'll be dead. <laughs> oh my fucking god! Uh, it says uh, there are a couple others who are claiming that they have. Well, they claim they call them vaccines. 
after COVID-19. <laughs> yeah, it's not, they shouldn't call it a vaccine. But they're no. different technologies. Some are RNA or DNA-based vaccines oh my God. that have not yet been proven in any indication yet, let alone this one. Hopefully they'll oh be successful. So, uh, w- whatever it is. Well, I'll probably be dead. If, if I'm people, just if, because... If people, if it keeps spreading and people keep dying for the next... It's martial law, then for, I'll probably be dead. For, because, for, yeah. for, 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 for these next six months to 18 months, it, then people will be begging... Oh, give me that right. pump that, pump that Help poison. Help us. We need this vaccine. Pump that poison into my veins. Pump me up with toxins. <laughs> so, uh, like I said, if this thing, I mean, all right, we're, we're still talking about, uh, what, 3% uh, maximum, uh, 3.7%. At I think, this point. 3, 3.7% maximum uh uh, death rate based yes. on uh, which uh, you know. Which there's a lot of compromised people out there medically. There's a lot of people. There's old, they're older. They have terrible health problems. Right. It's right. gonna affect them before it's gonna affect healthy healthier people. Yeah, I, I don't think I saw the or saved the uh, article. It was some guy from the Pentagon or somewhere saying that there was uh, that the numbers were a joke and that there was at least. Uh, 50 million in the U.S. that are that are infected. Oh my million. God! This is out of control, you guys. <laughs> so. I'm just saying this is yeah. He said he said well and and, and, and you know it, now that they're supposedly testing more and more people. Um, I don't want to be tested. I know when I'm sick. It, you know, if yeah. I do get it, whatever, I know I'll know it. See the thing is. I don't, no, I'm not going to, I'm not an idiot. I'll know that I have it. Well, the thing is, you're healthy. Mm-hmm. I'm healthy. Right. I, I, I may be old. I may be near the 60 right. marker. Oh, we're, we're, we're past 50. Yeah, I'm, I'm near, I'm very near the 60 marker, but. Right. It don't matter. Just because, uh, just because, no. just because you're near a, a death marker. I mean, a, right. uh, uh, whatever the increase. Yes. Death rate marker. Um, yes. You know, as long as you're not one of those regular people that are out there right. going, going to the doctor every six weeks, exactly, um, and getting all kinds of taking all kinds of weird pills, being and, a guinea pig, yeah, you know, yep. just uh, doing all that 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 yep. stuff that the medical industrial complex wants you to do. It wants you to do, yeah. The government you, basically wants you to do. So you, you're just a fucking guinea pig sheep. So sheep you, guinea pig. You're probably fine. You're probably all good. Um, yeah, probably. Yeah. But oh, by the way, Graham. Yeah. There was a discussion last night in the chat, and you were gone. You were a- AFK. Okay. What is your baking soda routine every day? How much do you take daily of baking soda? One teaspoon. That's what I thought. Uh, I knew it. I, I do. I do I like right. well, I do one like, teaspoon, not uh, tablespoon. Right, not a tablespoon. Teaspoon. No. A table. And you mix it with water, correct? Okay, or do you okay, mix okay, it with your a table a tablespoon a day a tablespoon and, and a thing of water, you, you'd be blowing crap. Right, you, you'd the be, tablespoon's way too much. It, it, you it, don't it, need it that. Would, much. It would, it would, it would, it would flush <laughs> your <laughs> ass out. You, you, you'd be, you'd be, that'd be bad for you. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, you don't want that much. That's that's way too much. Um, yeah, <laughs> you'll be, you'll be, you'll be, that's you'll be. What I thought. I knew I heard you correctly. It, 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 what, what that would do? It would, it would make your insides a little queasy, real queasy. Yeah. And you'd, and you'd yeah. be, you'd be you'd going be to. Gassy. The, you'd, be, <laughs> you'd, you'd be going to the crapper. You'd feel like you have to take crap all day. <laughs> so you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. No. Yeah. So your routine is with the baking soda. You mix it with what? Water. Okay. And how much water? Well, I it's, I have I don't with that thing. It's like a thirty ounce thing. I mean, you could do okay. it. You could just do it with eight ounces of water. And what kind of vessel? Uh, copper. Okay, so you but, use but, the water, the yeah, copper vessel, but, and a but you don't, you of don't, baking soda. You don't need the copper vessel. You, okay. You, you just need the water in the baking soda, and it can right, be like eight right. o- eight ounces of water, and you're fine. Um. Right. Okay. <laughs> uh, don't do it again, Rump. Just do the teaspoon. Cut it down to a teaspoon now. Yeah, I mean, and you're okay with more, uh, but I right. say you, you get that queasy feeling, it, and and, and it may fun. it no. may it may affect different people differently. Um, right. True. <laughs> so, 
Okay, yeah. okay. there you go. Teaspoon. Yeah. Sixty. Yeah, that's, that's that's fine. That's good. Uh, okay. And 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 what that's gonna do for you is is. Is uh, ward off any kind water of water is good for you. You should drink a lot of water a day. Everybody oh yeah, I, I, I drink water all day long. Yeah. Well, after I get, after I finish my coffee, I drink water. Right, right, day. sure, yeah. <laughs> oh, gotta, me gotta, too. Gotta have the coffee. Um, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Hell like yeah. I said, you, you, know, you can just put it in, a, in an eight ounce cup and, and mix it in there, and and, and you're good to go. Um, so right. But, uh, and it, yeah. it doesn't taste great. You can just like do it like a, a shot or yeah, whatever. Just drink it quickly. You'll be fine. Yeah, it, you tastes, know? it tastes all right. It's, it's, it tastes okay. It's, it's just a little, little, little salty, you know, whatever. Right. It's just like switching with salt water. Not the best tasting thing, but yeah, yeah. it helped. I mean, that's what I did for a couple of weeks with my teeth thing. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Donna. Donna joined us. Hey, Donna. Oh, you. oh, Donna. Every time I say I want, I, that song comes in my head. Like, yeah. you know. I know that song. See, I have to learn how to re-talk so I can learn how to re-sing now. You know, like, you know. Okay. But, yeah. So, not that I'm a good singer, but it's for my own enjoyment. Yeah. Okay. Here's the, here's this little, uh, <laughs> here's this little propaganda piece uh, that came out. Okay. Because... Uh, there's a lot of that going on right now. Oh, you telling me, man? Uh, oh. from, from Straight Times, uh, it's an Asian Asian publication. Indonesian President Joko or Joko J O K O I don't know how you say that. Stokes speculation: herbs can fight coronavirus. No shit. Yeah, they can. But I they're told they're you that. they're I trying told you that. To, they're trying to tell you. It doesn't work. Anyway, in Indonesian President oh. Jako Widodo has been bolstering speculation that a herb concoction can ward against being infected with coronavirus and everything else. Um, right. Yeah, he said in a statement posted on a <laughs> posted on a government website that he's been drinking a mixture of drinking a mixture of red ginger, lemongrass, turmeric, and curcuma. A type of turmeric with, that's native to Southeast Asia. Three times a day since the spread of the virus. I drink the mixture instead of tea now, Mr. Jocko said in a statement. I give the drinks to my guests, be it morning, evening, or afternoon. Uh, the brew is called Jamu, J-A-M-U, and is widely used as a herbal medicine in Indonesia on claims that it can cure various diseases. From the common flu to stomach aches to uric acid, it's even believed, uh, get this guys, to increase sexual stamina for men. So get that get, get, get that wood going. All right. All right. That's <laughs> it, good news for us women. Industries are built around it and listed companies such as PD Industry, Jamu, da 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 da, uh, produce it. However, its use as a deterrent against the coronavirus is yet to be proven by you. By you morons that only believe in Western medicine, it's yet to be proven. This has been working for thousands of years. No kidding. No kidding. <laughs> Despite this, Mr. Jocko isn't the only one who who's uh, turned to the herb mixture amid growing fears over the virus. Yep. Demand for the blend has risen so much that the price of red ginger, turmeric, and curcuma jumped fivefold. Uh, yeah, just imagine how much it's gone up for toilet paper. Uh, citizens, right. no <laughs> citizens should take it upon themselves to grow the herbs themselves. Right. Hello. Uh, anyway, so within more conventional medicine, investors have been placing bets on who will be the first to develop an antiviral for the coronavirus. It's already there. Just, just put your shares into that. Uh, share, shares of U.S. drug makers and biotech companies have been defying the market route, uh, though there is no treatment or vaccine as yet. Yeah, yes, is. there is a treatment or vaccine. The guy just told you about it. <laughs> All right. The WHO declared the coronavirus pandemic as a disease officially named COVID-19 has spread to 110 countries and regions, killing more than 4,700 people and infecting over 128,000 globally. Indonesia reported its first de first death this week, while the numbers of confirmed cases reached 34. So, um, hooray for you, Mr. Jocko, uh, for putting that stuff out there, letting people know that there's 
some real stuff, real medicine that'll work. Um, and so if you can find Jammu somewhere, I, I would certainly look to get some of that, uh, because hot damn, stuff, the stuff, uh, uh, the stuff's going to work. Ginger, turmeric, you can get all that shit right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's basically, you know, he doesn't give you a... He that, didn't, vitamin C, he, he, suck up on that stuff, people. He, he doesn't give you a, a recipe there exactly. You don't but need he, one. But he does, do he, he does give you the ingredients um, okay, great. For, for that. So Let's do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let, let me just take a quick look here. Um, let's see take, here. take matters into your own hands, for Christ's sake. Hello, common sense. <laughs> yeah. Um, so if I look up Jammu on on Amazon, they yes. they show you turmeric plus, uh, turmeric, curcumin, biosense, biopurin, whatever, curcumoids, um, and then it goes to like Jumanji. <laughs> so they they don't actually have it on Amazon. Uh, as far as I can see right there, but but they will sell you the turmeric uh, uh, tablets uh, and stuff, and those are fairly cheap, you know, eighteen bucks, fifteen bucks for for those, which would be better than uh, waiting around for some government agency to do something. So, um, if if you're actually concerned about getting this uh, and think you might actually get it, and and believe that it's that it's actual and real. So that, right. that's what that all comes down to. All right, we're going to play some more music. Okay, let's do that. All Thanks right. for tuning in, everyone. Crazy times. Absolutely. It's a, it's a wackadoo world. It is. And and it's really wacky right now. And we're wackadoo people. We're freakers. We are freaking <laughs> in a good way. This is uh, Chili in the Barracudas. All right. <laughs> All right, all right, Samantha Fish, doing it up proper right there for us. Uh, that was from uh, uh, Nottingham, UK, on the 1st of March, 2020, so 12 days ago. She was over there in the UK. Hopefully she's back home by now, and everything's cool, because uh, no, nothing happened to my girl. She's my girl, Samantha Fish. Mm-hmm. Uh, before that, uh, we had Motorhead, When the Sky Comes Looking for You. Yeah, man, great stuff there. And we kicked it off with Ain't That a Thrill by Chili and the Barracudas. A little rockabilly coming your way. Hopefully you all like the rockabilly. <laughs> oh, man. Moosey there? Hello, hello, hello. Moosey yes, I am here. All right. <laughs> Uh, good stuff there, huh? Yeah, big time. What, what do you think about Chili and the Barracudas? I like them a lot. Yeah, good stuff, man. A lot. Rockabilly is one of my favorite genre, favorite genres of music. So. Yeah, yeah, mine too, man. I, I love that. I mean, it's the best for. It's really good for dancing. Bluegrass is good for dancing, and and rockabilly is really awesome for dancing. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. I like that kind of music. You bet. And they're a good band. Oh, yeah. Look they them up. good. Look them up when you get a chance. Chili with two oh, L's. Chili? Okay. Chili, two L's and the Barracudas. All right. All right. For sure, dude. <laughs> Funny video, too. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I had to go away and take Jackson out real quick, but mm-hmm. I, I heard most of it, so. Yeah. It, it kinda, it kinda, the video kind of remind me of... Uh, uh, Amelda, <laughs> uh, Amelda, uh, Amelda. Um, yes. May, yeah. Amelda May. Her video. Uh, yeah, I know. Her, yep. vi- her video. It's good to be alive. The one in the trailer, trailer park, or whatever. Uh, no, the one in her apartment where she's got that idiot. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. The, yeah. the, the idiot boyfriend that's ignoring oh, her right, and stuff, right. and uh, so it kind of kind of remind me of that there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she does good videos. I like her videos. Yeah. Well, she did. Yeah. yeah before before the divorce. But everything, what I was going to say everything, is... Everything um, changed for her in that divorce, Amelda. Right. Oh, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah. She, that, her music, that can happen. Her music style, her look, everything. I mean, okay. Yeah, so, is it, I, you know, her music's still good, but it's just, it's not rockabilly anymore, and it's, you know, whatever. <laughs> People change, you know. Yes, they do. Yeah, yeah. But I was going to say... Maybe it isn't as prevalent here in the Chippewa Valley yet because it's still 28 degrees out. 
It's still oh, basically that... winter here. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was 32 degrees today with the wind whipping, like, so it was like 20 degrees outside. It felt like 20. Uh, so I'm saying there could be that. There could be that. Involved. Where it has to be a certain temperature. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because it's still basically winter here. When you when it's 28 degrees outside, to me, that's still fucking winter. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Even though it's not snowing, you know, um, 32 degrees is freezing. So if it's below 32 degrees, it's fucking winter, dude. <laughs> right. Okay. So it's interesting, though, that they've already closed the schools here, though. Even though there's no cases of it at all at this time in the Chippewa Valley. Yeah. And it's just weird. You know, that makes me one that makes me wonder, you know. Right. Understandable. I mean they already are taking these precautions, which maybe that maybe they're doing the preemptive thing. But I doubt that. I doubt that's that's the reason. <laughs> you know? All right. Yeah. I'm just waiting for Minnesota to close their schools. Let me go on a Minnesota news site because New well, Mexico's all closed. So they're only right. They're 90 miles away. Minneapolis, St. Paul is 90 miles away. Right. So yes, Minnesota has declared a peacetime state of emergency amid the COVID-19 concerns. A peacetime state of emergency. Yeah, they called it a peacetime state of emergency for some reason. Okay. Uh, yeah, and. Uh, it's on the website, on the Minnesota website, that Wisconsin closed their K-12 schools. Right. Uh, a U of, M, U of M student was tested positive. A University of Minnesota student was tested positive for COVID-19. Right. Uh, Minnesota Department of Health confirms a total of 14 cases in the state. Right. Um, restaurants, movie theaters take precautions. Uh Maple Grove man charged with murdering wife. Okay, great. Just kidding. Um, that was just there. That's what, it's like that. That seems to be going on a lot too. Like, right. The these family murders. It's like what the fuck is going on? Exactly. Anyway, uh, it's all over the place on the Minnesota news site. Sure. And and MLB, it's you everywhere. said canceled, but I thought they were just delayed, but maybe that's changed now. Well, according to that site, it's canceled. It's oh, okay. So whatever. I, I have uh, no yeah, idea. Yeah. yeah. I oh, heard my they, gosh. I heard they, what, they, they canceled spring training at least. So. Yes, they did, yeah. because they were, like, playing games and shit. Right. And people were going to watch them, those so, teams, in Florida. Right. They call it, like, or in Arizona, there's, like... Yeah, wherever wherever the wherever the farm club is. Right, right. I think Albuquerque has the Dodgers farm team. Yes, you're correct. They and they, do. and they call them the uh at, wait, But wait. it's not a farm team. This is spring training. This is the actual MLB teams, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. They're preseason basically. Yeah. To warm up to get to the regular season. Yeah. So they're playing other major league teams. I mean, it's it's major league baseball. It's not the farm teams. The farm okay. teams are separate. All right. Right. From these, yeah, okay. these are the major league teams. The actual teams playing each other. It's their preseason warm up. Okay, well, I and got... they do it down south because it's warm down there. Sure, you know? makes sense. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right, like the the twins can't practice in outside up here in Minnesota or yeah. in Wisconsin. The Brewers can't practice in Wisconsin. You know, outside. Mm-hmm. Down there, they can be outside and be on a real field, and you know what I mean. Right. Right. Yeah, I know those baseball, anyway. those baseball guys are wimps. They can't play with them. Whatever. If, if it's raining, they can't play because they might get wet. Oh, they play. Ooh. Unless it's pouring down rain, they play. <laughs> All right. I got, I got some non-corona news here coming your way. Okay. <laughs> Is it good news, though? Maybe. Depends on, it depends, okay. on your point okay. of, depends on your point of view. Okay. It's not you. Scientists confirm days are actually getting longer. Yep, it's not just your exhaustion talking. The days here on Earth actually have grown longer and longer. It's just that the change has been happening over tens of millions of years. (laughs) Back in the Cretaceous period, which began around 145 million years ago and ended 66 million years ago, it only took about 23 and a half hours 
for the Earth to complete a full rotation, according to life science. Since then, the planet's rotation has gradually slowed to the 24-hour cycle we have today. Scientists already gathered that days used to be shorter, live science reports, but a new method, probing ancient mollusk fossils with lasers to measure how long they were exposed to sunlight each day, gave them the most accurate understanding of those time differences. In addition to having shorter days, years in the Cretaceous period were also longer by a full week, based on the measurements of the shells which grew at different rates based on the season. We have about four to five data points per day, and this is something that you almost never get in geological history. Uh, Niels de Winter, an analytical geochemist at some weird university name I can't pronounce from Brussels, uh, said in a press release, we can basically look at that at a, a, at a day 70 million years ago. Earth had shorter days, yes. So you're getting longer, you're getting more, more, more long time. I believe days. that. Longer days. And you're living longer. Now this one, I think you're going to really enjoy this article. <laughs> yeah. This is posted on hushmagazine.ca by okay. uh, Mark Manson. I should have saved this for, for leftovers, but it's good enough here. And, it, and, and for all you so concerned about everything going on in the world today, Take this, take this to heart. The subtle art of not giving a fuck. All right. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, this is, uh, who's, is the article? Yeah, Mark Manson, I already mentioned his name. Okay, in my life, I have given a fuck about many people and many things. I've also not given a fuck about many people and many things. And those fucks I have not given have made all the difference. People often say the key to confidence and success in life is to simply not give a fuck. Indeed, we often refer to the strongest, most admirable people we know in terms of their lack of fucks given. Like, oh look, Susie working weekends again. She doesn't give a fuck. Or, did you hear that Tom called the company president an asshole and still got a raise anyway? Holy shit, that dude, <laughs> that dude does not <laughs> give a fuck. Or Jason got up. Got, <laughs> Jason got up and ended his date with Cindy after 20 minutes. He said he wasn't going to listen to her bullshit anymore. Man, that <laughs> guy does not give a fuck. No, he does not. Uh, chances are you know somebody in your life who, at one time or another, did not give a fuck. Give a fuck. <laughs> and went on went went on to accomplish amazing feats. Perhaps there was, <laughs> perhaps there was a time in your life when you simply did not give a fuck. And excelled at extraordinary heights. Oh, yeah. I, I know for myself, quitting my day job in finance after only six weeks and telling my boss that I was going to start selling dating advice online ranks pretty <laughs> up, pretty high up there with my own didn't give a fuck Hall no of fuck. Fame. <laughs> Hall of Fame, don't give a fuck. Uh, uh, <laughs> same with deciding to sell most of my positions, possessions and move to South yeah. America. Fuck's given? None. None. Just went and <laughs> did it. <laughs> right. That's not giving a fuck for sure. They, they got, I they, like it. They, they, like they, 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 they have a little cartoon here. A group of people and a guy lifting himself up uh, into the air with, on a bunch of uh, balloons. It says, everyone just wanted to be liked and accepted. Except for Tim. Tim doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now, while not giving a fuck may seem simple, may seem simple on the surface. It's a whole new bag of burritos under the hood. I don't even know what, what the si uh, sentence means, but I don't give a fuck. A bag of burritos <laughs> sounds awesome, so let's just go with it. The, 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 point is, the point is, most of us struggle through our lives by giving too many fucks in situations where right. fucks do not deserve to be given. We give a fuck about a rude gas station attendant who gives us too many nickels. We give a fuck when a show we liked was canceled on the TV. We give a fuck when our co-workers don't bother asking us about our awesome weekend. We give a fuck when it's raining and we were supposed to go jogging in the morning. Fucks given everywhere, strewn about like seeds in the motherfucking springtime. And for what purpose? For what reason? Convenience? Easy comforts? A pat on the fucking back, baby? 
That is the problem, my friend. Because when we give too many fucks, when we choose to give a fuck about everything, then we feel as though we are perpetually entitled to feel comfortable and happy at all times. That's when life fucks us. Indeed, the ability to reserve our fucks for only when the most fuckworthy of situations would surely make life a hell of a lot easier, failure would be less terrifying, rejection less painful, unpleasant necessities more pleasant, and the unsavory shit sandwiches a little bit more savory. I mean, if we could only give a few less fucks, a few more consciously directed fucks, then life would feel pretty fucking easy. We don't realize that there, there's a fine art of non-fuck giving. People, are, 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 people aren't just born not giving a fuck. In fact, we're born giving way too many fucks. Ever, ever watch a kid cry his eyes out because his hat is the wrong shade of blue? Exactly. Fuck that kid. <laughs> Deve <laughs> Developing the ability to control and manage the fucks you give is the essence of strength and integrity. We must craft and hone our lack of fuckery over the course of years <laughs> and decades. Like a fine wine, our fucks must age into a fine vintage. <laughs> only uncorked and given on the most special fucking occasions. This may sound easy, but it's not. Most of us, most of the time, get sucked in by life's mean tri tri trivialities, steamrolled by its unimportant dramas. We live and die by the sidelines and distractions and the vicissitudes, what how to say that word, that, wow. su that suck the fucks out of us like Sasha Gray in the middle of a gangbang. <laughs> I don't know who that is. There's no way to live. <laughs> I don't man. either. There's no way to live. That is no way to live, man. So stop fucking around. Get your fucks together. And here, <laughs> allow me to fucking show you. Uh, I'll, I'll let you read the rest <laughs> for yourself. But he goes on. Uh, subtlety number one. Not giving a fuck does not mean being indifferent. It means being comfortable with being indifferent. Uh, then he goes on to another subtlety number two. To not give a fuck about adversity, you must first give a fuck about something more important than adversity. Sasha, oh, Fifty Shades of Grey. Okay. Oh, yeah, she's the main character. I never saw the movie or read the book. Fuck okay. that. Subtlety number three. We all have a limited number of fucks to give. Pay attention to where and who you give them to. <laughs> so, so he goes into detail on those subtleties. And, and how you can avoid giving a fuck when you don't need to give a fuck. Quit right. giving Why a fuck. Right, why give a fuck when you don't need to? Quit giving a fuck about stupid shit. Right. <laughs> Who gives a fuck? All right. <laughs> all right, all right. So this next one, uh, not really important for me, but some of y'all out there enjoy war games, uh, computer computer war games. Right, like my son. Like your son. And so yeah. here he goes, and it's free. Okay, free. Activision releases new game, Call of Duty Warzone. Oh, for, great. My son will be getting that. Hang for, on, i got to ask him if he has it. For free. It's free. Is it out yet? It's free. Uh, let me get to that well, here. Actually, he has it. Activision has been on a high recently with astounding success of their flagship game, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Oh, yeah, I'm sure he's got it. They have doubled down by now releasing a new game with Call, Call of Duty Warzone. Awesome. The, uh, Wonderful. The, the, the mind-blowing aspect here is that the game is free to play for everyone and that oh. it has a cross-platform support between PCs and consoles. It's called indoctrination and brain control. Oh, absolutely. You know? This yeah. is, this is yep. re recruiting for the war machine. Yes, it is. Uh, there's definitely not a typical for Activision, as they have garnered quite a reputation for putting large price tags on their game. Call Which I'm not, I'm not proud of my son. for. You know, I'm, it's not that I'm not proud of him. It's just that I wish he didn't play them. Like you know. I know, I know. Call of Duty Warzone seems yeah. to be a step into a better direction for gamers. And when it comes to gameplay, it does not disappoint in a quality for price free. Uh, the game still provides the same entertaining and thrilling gameplay that one of uh, one may have associated with the Call of Duty franchise. Uh, let's see here. Does it say whether this is released yet or not? I'm scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. The game is currently available to play on PC, Xbox One, and PlayStation Four. 
So um, if you're a, a gamer and you want to do this, I played several of the early uh, Call of Duty games, um, and I enjoyed them. I had fun with them. They were they were they were cool. So, oh yeah, my son likes them. Yeah, um, but I, I haven't gamed for a long time. Yeah, a few years now, at least. Yeah. So anyway, there you go. Call of Duty. Uh, Warzone. Yeah, kill, free. kill, kill. Great. Free, 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 Wonderful. free. Okay, yeah, so now good. this one may pertain to you as well as, to the, as well as to the Brits as well as to me. Okay. On Sputniknews.com. Uh-oh. <laughs> half, half of Brits believe Earth will face alien invasion in the next 50 years. I believe I think it's going to happen like in the next six months. I think it happened about five thousand years ago. Well, I do too, but they're going to make <laughs> it public per se. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. This is all about. Okay, according to one to a to a one poll survey commissioned by TV channel Fox News, the most Fox po- Fox, Fox News Fox given Fox given news. The most popular <laughs> reason for for an ET visit are. Aliens wish to learn more about the human race, really, including no, they don't. They already fucking know. You know, they think we're a bunch of fucking dumbasses. They breeded us. What the hell? Anyway, yeah, (laughs) including scientific research and Earth's natural resources. One in six polled says aliens may also pay us a visit to reverse the damage done by humans to nature. Good luck with that. Um, <laughs> half of Brits believe the extra tra- extraterrestrial life exists and that Earth will face an Independence Day style alien invasion by yes, 2000. Yes, I believe that's what's going on here. By yep. 2068. According I think to it's going to happen sooner than that. More than two thirds. More, more than two thirds of respondents contend that the government must prepare a plan to deal with such they a scenario. They already did. If aliens really wanted to come here and attack, they would have. Yeah, they would have done it a long time ago. There ain't nothing you puny humans could do to no, stop it. We're fucking lame compared to them. We're fucking lame. Seventy-one percent of respondents said they believe that aliens had already visited our planet. Oh hell yeah! They, have. they walk among us. They do. Uh, they do. Despite the fact have that been almo- for a while. D- despite the fact that almost half of Brits, forty-six percent are ready to take up arms against space invaders. What are you going to do, go out there with and your... And they're already in power. Look they, at Rumsfeld. He was one. You, what are you, you going to go out there with your pea shooter against these guys and their laser energy yeah, weapons? Yeah, they got lasers and shit. And their energy weapons? <laughs> they can make your brain explode just thinking about it. Only 23% of respondents believe that humans will defeat aliens. Uh, idiots. Uh, while more... <laughs> More than half say that alien attack would mean the end of the human race as we know it. However, it's the end of the world as we know it. However, more than a quarter of Brits think that aliens should pay us a visit. Uh, it, should aliens pay us a visit, there would be no risk of confrontation. Sure, they, they already have. Oh, my God. That, that there would be no risk of confrontation and that 29% said we would welcome them. Yeah. Did you ever see the TV yeah. show? Did you ever see see the show called V? Yes. V. Yeah, they came yes, down. They were they were offering all kinds of wonderful yeah, stuff. Yeah, they were, but they, they were evil. They looked like humans, and they were they, did. they, they were a helping bit different, people but out. Basically, the human, yeah. But they weren't humans. They were no, reptilians. They were, not. they were reptilians, and yeah. they they meant to, <laughs> they meant to 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 harvest humans. And anyway, so. Uh, Okay, Brits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. We're gonna play another wow. music. We're gonna play another music set here. Uh, All right. And we'll come back with who knows what, but uh, we'll come who back. Who knows? With, who knows? You know. Crazy, I don't know, crazy, crazy. Somebody knows. I don't know. Fast train to Cray Cray Town. All right. Kick it. Kick it off with a Miss Kate request here. Redbone. And Rory Gallagher there, man. I have to tell you, uh, doing the laundromat. Uh, just awesome stuff there. 
Uh, too bad about Rory, but, you know, he was a great one while we had him. All right, Bloodhound Gang before that with Fire, Water, Burn. The roof is on fire. And kicked it off there with a Kate request, Redbone, the Witch Queen of New Orleans. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got here lined up. You there, Moose? Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's all right. No problem. Yeah, yeah. No. Problem. Had to unmute. Had to switch the source. Yeah, yeah, that happens. It does. It does. When you're doing live broadcasting. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All kinds of little manipulations to do. Yes, you uh, have to do change things and yep. Should, All that. You should see me over here. I'm like the uh I bet. I'm like, I'm like the the Wizard of Oz pulling all them levers. And <laughs> 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 but you ha you're not behind a curtain though, right? Oh, uh, behind a screen or in front but of But the, not you're not the man behind the curtain. No, I am I'm not the man behind the curtain. <laughs> oh man, this is nuts. I don't know. It's like like I said earlier, it felt like I was driving the Twilight Zone or something. Right. Like yeah. I'm old enough to remember the the Twilight Zone. Sure. You know. Yeah, no, I still I still it's I still, crazy. I I still wa I still watch reruns of the Twilight Zone. Yeah, they're good. They're yeah, good yeah, shows, they're, dude. They're, you, know, like, you know, you got your favorite episodes, and right. And, uh, <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's cool. So, see, I mean, it's just weird. It's mm -hmm. like closing schools down. They're like, it's 12. just like, ah, it's what the fuck? Mm -hmm. It's like 12, something's 12, coming. 12, I 12, I just 12, know it. Let's see what else we got here for you lined up. Oh, All right, go ahead. I got stories. So, hmm, hmm, which one of these? Oh, let's do this one. <laughs> ZeroHedge.com posted on yesterday via Max Slavo at shtfplan.com. The government has been secretly stockpiling for a pandemic. Of course. Imagine that. Back in 2016, the government was exposed as secretly stockpiling supplies to help them survive a pandemic. Sure. Yeah. These, these supplies are not for saving us, but for saving nope. them. Somewhere, there is a sprawling system of government storage facilities so secret that American people can't be told where they are or what is kept in them. But it is clear that we were, and still are, gearing up, or they, not we were, they were. That we did. They were, are, and still are, gearing up for something. These secret facilities are apparently in place to support the logistics of a response to an unprecedented disaster, the likes of which no one has when ever, has ever seen. seen, or perhaps even conceived of in this country. Right. Yeah, so um, <laughs> one thing is certain, the federal government has what is surely the largest stockpile of emergency equipment and medical supplies that has, ever been, has ever been assembled. NPR did an expose on the fascinating secret stockpile. We've been talking about this for years, though, Graham. We've been doing oh, stories oh, throughout the years about this. We 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 have, we have. We have. <laughs> we knew this was coming. We knew this was going on. So NPR did this uh, expose that nobody ever heard about. Uh, right. When, when Greg, well, when Greg, not maybe, but yeah, when Greg Burrell tells people he's in charge of some secret government warehouses, he often gets asked if they are like the one at the end of the Lo Raiders of the Lost Ark. Well, no, not really, says Burrell, director of the program called the Strategic National Stockpile at the CDC. Thousands, oh. thousands, thousands of lives may some, might someday depend on this stockpile, which holds all kinds of medical supplies. That Only the certain lives, though. That, well, right. That the officials would need in the wake of a terrorist attack with a chemical, biological, or nuclear weapon. 
uh, we're, we're dealing with a biological weapon right now. So. Oh, big time. Big time. That's what this is. The location of these warehouses is secret. How many there are is secret. Although a former government official recently said in a public meeting that there are Colorado six, Springs that, that there are six Colorado Springs is one and exactly what's in them is secret. Colorado we, Springs. We have the capability if something bad happens that we can intervene in a positive way, but then we don't ever want to have to do that. So it's kind of a strange place, says Burrell. But we would be <laughs> foolish not to prepare. Of for those events that that we could predict might happen. The inventory includes millions of doses of vaccines against bioterrorism agents like smallpox, antivirals in the case of a deadly flu pandemic, medicines to be used to treat radiation sickness and burns, chemical agent antidotes, wound care supplies, IV fluids, and antibiotics. Uh, the results can't be discussed publicly, says Casa Grande, but one thing we can say is that across the variety of threats that we examined, that the strategic national stockpile has the adequate amount of materials in it and, by and large, the right type of thing. The federal government is pouring more than half a billion uh, dollars per year into this massive, unprecedented, unprecedented emergency stockpile system and has built up a considerable arsenal of medicines and countermeasures since the system was established in 1999. Oh, it's been there longer than that, buddy. Uh, anyway, so, yeah. <laughs> so, so if, this, time. if this is the case, why would the Surgeon General demand the American public not use or even buy face masks to protect themselves against the coronavirus? <laughs> Especially considering that he claims healthcare professionals need those masks to prevent infection. Don't they have a stockpile? They must. <laughs> if it definitely appears that this stockpile is for those wealthy elitists who control and manipulate the economy through government. That's why it's a secret, and that's why you can only depend on yourself when it comes to preparedness. Indeed. Did I copy that? Got me. <laughs> So they have it. You don't. You ain't getting it. You don't even get to know about no, it. No, you don't matter. <laughs> they don't care about you like we've been talking about for 11 years. All right. Well, all we got time for here is the last set. So um, all right. we're going to do that now. We'll be back after the... smoke it if you got it, people. That's right. Spark it up, Sparky. Yep. <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> all right. We're kicking it off with a free and slave request. Okay. That's the Lost Fingers there, doing their version of Black Betty. Uh, nice stuff. Before that, we had, um, uh, who, who's this band again? I forget the name of it. Papa Bakes, uh, doing uh, uh, My Corona. My, 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 my Corona. <laughs> for that, for the Moose Girl, Iron Star. So close. Good stuff. And we kicked it off with a free enslaved request. Stone Jesus, Stormy Monday. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Excellento. Yeah. I mean, thank you for playing my friend's video. Oh, sure, that means a lot. I mean, good. they are up and coming. They're trying to make it, you know, big a little bit. Yeah, that's good and stuff. And it's so cool. You know, they're so unique and different with that cello. And then Max yeah. was in the background. You didn't really see his face with the one with the long hair in the background playing the guitar. Yeah. He's the one that's the, the mandolin player and shit from Kind Country. Oh, okay. Like, he's multi-dimensional, dude. Like, he's an ultra musician. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, awesome. Like, can play everything, you know what I mean? Super talented, can sing. But he didn't sing on that video at all. Yeah. You know, so, yeah, thank you, though. They're from Minneapolis. Oh, I like them. I know them people personally. Like, I know Joe. I know Max. I know Olivia, the child player. I know uh, Joe's wife, Angela, who was one of the girls on the swing. She's a total sweetheart, dude. Oh, my God. They're so nice. Cool. Those people are so cool. Yeah. So, thank you. Excellent. Well, I enjoyed it. So, uh, anyway, um... That's going to wrap it up. I think uh, we got the uh, dark table tomorrow, 2 p.m. Eastern. Flash, okay. Flash and who knows whoever. Um, and uh, I'll be on Sunday, normal time, noon Eastern. 
uh, yep. with the blues, and we're playing trivia here in the chat. Yeah. Follow, followed by Hal Anthony behind the woodshed. So don't miss that. He comes on at 3 p.m. Eastern, noon o'clock Pacific. And uh, check the schedule yeah, there. Yeah, you know, if I were you people, I would listen to Hal right now. Oh, yeah. For sure. Oh, yeah. Because he fucking, he digs deep, okay? He does. He does. He researches. And, right. And, you know, last week's show was probably one of my favorite shows that Hal's ever done. Yeah. I Good mean, one. seriously, he is stepping up his game, dude. So absolutely, absolutely. Um, kudos to Hale. Love you, buddy. Yep, yep. Keep and, on uh, doing what you're doing. All right, yep. and uh, a shout out to Solomon for calling in. Yep. Call, call Thank me. you, Solomon, for reaching out. Great and, stuff. Um, and uh, good to hear from you. Awesome. Glad you're, you know, still man. with us. <laughs> and, and not, you know, not, we're not, still not, here, and you're still there, and yeah, awesome. Yeah. You see, yeah, you see, he sounds like he was doing great. Uh, good, good. So another reminder: send your healing energy vibes yes. to Chloe's mother. Yes, please, she'll, everyone. She'll, she'll get healing vibes. Just, she's supposed to get out of the hospital tomorrow, so we'll see. Good, good. Oh, I hope so. Oh That'd yeah, get out yeah. of there without any stupid infections. You don't want to be in the hospital. That's yeah. not a good place to be. <laughs> All right. Well, well uh, y'all have a right. great, great weekend, and yep. um, don't let the corona bugs bite. <laughs> <laughs> peace peace